Hi guys, how you doing? Sino Gaming here and in today's episode I'm bringing you Idol Mafia and how to defend on the Gang Wars. So this is pretty much self-explanatory as we are ready in a screen where we just about ready set our defenses. So I won't be able to give you a golden formula how to win every single battle. Obviously the strategy will depend fully on your gang, you know, which building you want to defend, what you want to do, etc, etc. Today I actually have been asked to a defend uh, building number 8, which is hospital, and we're gonna go ahead and discuss just that in just a second. But definitely one of the tips is here that you want to fully defend your 90,000 buildings. So these are the buildings which gives you the most points while it's captured. So this is definitely something that yourself and your gangmates want to protect by all cost. So now let's click on the building itself and let's go into a defense. So we're going to hit the button and go ahead and set up our teams. Alright then, and this is obviously a main screen when you're going to start setting up your defenses. So if you're just starting out um, or you have not figured out yet what you want to do, um, then obviously you can just manually start adding capos how, how it's suitable for you. But once you obviously start getting more and more um, stronger capos, then you want to definitely head into the teams and start bundling them together. So you're able actually to have a 10 different teams if you choose from, um, or at any given point if you want to amend something, um, you'll just hit on that blue icon and it will give you a selection for manual input and once you're happy, obviously you're gonna save your teams. So we're gonna go ahead for example and if we hit on team one is obviously now all my strongest team is at, at its disposal. But the main strategy I want to discuss today is how to set up these four teams. So as you see there is a massive difference between my team one and team four power. And this is a crucial point you want to implement in this defensive strategy. So what's worth noting is that you've got a four teams to defense but only two teams to attack. So what we want to essentially do is to weaken attacking team as much as possible. And the strategy for it is very, very simple. So we actually head over to the top. We know that every single time you attack, or is the same when you defense and you uh, beat your enemies, but mainly want to focus now on attackers against us. So if we put a five capos in front of our enemy line and they will kill five our capos, obviously they're gonna get curse of weakness. And every single capo died, will actually minus the power and HP by 5%. Therefore, if we got four teams going against only two teams, my strategy is very simple. What I want to do now, if I got these two top teams um, very powerful in comparison to my team three and four, my strategy is it follows as this. I'm going to set up team four as a first team, which means if the en enemy team it goes against it, then more likely this team not going to do any significant damage the enemy's uh, forces gonna go with a curse of weakness with minus 25% hitting then my team number two. And this is where I believe I'm gonna have my upper hand as my team is on a full HP, no curses and going against weakened team. So that's obviously now a one attack of your enemy is gone and dusted and then it will he will go or she will go and use obviously now secondary strongest team and then our our strategy it repeats here again we then put our team free in that case actually gonna match so my team free is again a weaker team to go against enemies second strongest team to make it weaker before then a final encounter with my strongest team and that's pretty much it. If you have not tried this strategy, then definitely that will boost uh, the, the overall score uh, at your war. Um, and definitely what you want to do is put your weaker team in order to apply this curse of weakness before it's gonna head over and start fighting your strongest team. So I hope you found this video useful, guys. And as always, I will see you next time.